night I started to walk and move around. Just in no man's land, there's danger of running into different groups of army men. So my family chose to bring me to the hospital. We met Ahmed in the mental health hospital in Mogadishu. He kept crossing the front lines of Somalia's civil war at night to visit his friends. It was as if he refused to recognize the fractures in his hometown. Ahmed was our guide at the institution, based in a shell of a building. We were here to try and understand the full weight of Somalia's war. Ahmed lived through two decades of conflict that subsided in 2011, but the war wouldn't end overnight. Battles continued outside Mogadishu and Al-Shabaab launched periodic attacks within the city. The war also continued on in people's memories and hearts. One third of people in Somalia suffer from mental illness, according to the World Health Organization. Okay. Hiya, hiya. What else? What else? Habab is a nurse trying to reach them. He is treating Ahmed and hundreds of others at the only mental health institution in South Central Somalia. I am sure he lost, lost. Abdinur, every day, every day. Fantastic man. Yes, Abdimur. Magic. With little support and only three months of psychiatry training, he has cobbled together his own way of dealing with the war inside. Abdimur, Umar Yahi, stick. Hey, that was the door. Abdimur, Umar Yahi, sit, sit. My name. Dr. Abdurrahman Ali Awari, nickname Dr. Habib. The mental health situation in Somalia is very, 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 very serious. Every day, three or four new cases admitted. My parents brought me here because of uh, they saw me. They saw me that I was talking to myself. I told them every every human person they talk to, to themselves in their heart, but some of them they speak silently. But according to me, I was speaking as loudly. That's why they, my parents brought me here. Those who were talking to themselves, they take drugs or their tablets. Every day here begins with medication. <laughs> I need to appreciate an Indian man, Mr. Siraj. Habab told us how a man he'd never met, Mr. Sriraji, sent him $14,000 to support the clinic. He says he used to receive drugs from the World Health Organization, but he hasn't had their help for the last two years. Now he relies on individual donations and small payments from the families of patients. I requested to Allah, Mr. Siraji, obtain good health, mental health, physical health, social health, and increase, 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 increase to Allah, your economic and financial source. In Somalia, mental illness is seldom viewed as a disease. More typically, it's seen as possession. A jinn or demon can enter the body and occupy one's mind. To release a jinn, the afflicted person visits sheikhs who recite the Quran. Sometimes they are starved so that the jinn is also starved. Habab battles this mindset every day. <laughs> This is normal person. That's a message. It's living together, getting together, and talk to him and like kiss the patient. That is increasing, increasing, increasing the and and and, and dignity of the mental ill people or person. Medic. 
اوكي هي ما راح السلام تسيح اب 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 دي سيت داون توجذر اي كونفيرس ذيرز نوت هير ستي دو دي شير ذير تايم يابا ما حمشي انا شير وقت يا انت ما تصير متعبتها ولكنك <تصفيق> والد ما يقبل على تهور دلعان هوي ما رصو جيري أنا أنت أقبع وصا صنتا دون أقرع وتهريبي دون تن دون كورة سبت كود عليك دكتور كوري منا عرقي أو الشهادة أنا ينقالي هو عين وعد أنت عن الشوء وقعد نش إنه مطار كان جاه اللعب أنا لدى قرآن أخرسته قرآن أخرسني هبين كي نوفي أنا لما هبين إلا هم مالنا نودي عيب فينا جاي شيء ولا يوان نقص مكي وأواش أنت غير كان وأخرجت الحمد لله مرك اللي كان أقول يا أقول أنا ورد وقعت مدة ورد وقعت مدة أنت لا تعمل Mentally ill people are often put in chains in Somalia, and Habeb has made it his mission to end the practice. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Can it? No able to move his hand. No able to move his leg. Seven years, can it? That young boy in Johar, middle Shabili. Now, he's a normal person. After treated, after eight months, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All to see all family collect and happy. We found in Habab a man fighting a giant with imperfect tools and unwavering conviction. To be normal in Somalia is to have known trauma, from close up or in the background. And so in some ways, it is the world outside these walls that needs to catch up. 